Hi friends, welcome to Wings of Arrow. Today I will solve aircraft propulsion question answer which are asked in Gate Aerospace 2020. This time questions are asked from centrifugal compressor, axial compressor, axial turbine, combustion chamber and ramjet. So before proceeding, if you are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Aishwarya. Most of my video lectures based on aerospace subjects related to tips and tricks to crack any competitive examination and also career guidance videos for aerospace and aeronautical engineers. So stay tuned to our channel and website for further updates like jobs, internship and many more. So let's begin to our topic. First question. The figure shows TS diagram for an axial turbine as shown in figure. Assuming the specific heat ratio of 1.33 for the hot gas and isentropic efficiency of the turbine stage is in terms of percentage round off to two decimal places. This question consists of two marks since there is no option so no negative mark will be allotted. So let's see the solution. Here is the given data is T01 is 1050 Kelvin and uh, pressure is 7.8 bar. T02 is 823 Kelvin. P02 is 2.5 bar and specific heat ratio constant is 1.33. So now from here what we have to find is the isentropic efficiency. So let's recall the isentropic efficiency for the axial turbine. So here is the formula recalling that eta equals to T01 by T02 by T01 minus T02S. Based on the given data, what is known to us? T01 that is 1050, T02 is 823 and again here is known. Which is unknown is T02S that is an isentropic temperature. So again by isentropic relation, we know that P01 and P02 and also the specific heat ratio. So based on this isentropic relation that is P01 by P02 gamma minus 1 by gamma equals to T01 by T02S that which is isentropic temperature at the point 2. So by substituting the values that is 7.8 by 2.5 power 1.33 minus 1 by 1.33 equals to 1050 by T02S. So based on this uh, relation we can find out the T02S and which by calculating we can get that 789.47 Kelvin. Now after achieving this T02S we can simply substitute in this basic formula in the isentropic efficiency formula and we can get that 0.8713 and when we convert that in terms of percentage we get as 87.13 percentage round off to two decimal places based on the IIT Delhi given the answer key so answer comes within the range of 87 to 89 so which is within the reasonable limit coming to the next question it is this question belongs to an ramjet engine the design flight Mach number of an ideal ramjet engine is 2.8. The stagnation temperature of air at the exit of the combustor is 2400 Kelvin. Assuming the specific heat ratio of 1.4 and gas constant of 287 Joule per kg Kelvin, the velocity of air at the exit of the engine is we need to find in unit of meter per second and round off to one decimal place. This question belongs to two marks since there is no option again there is no negative marks for it. Let's see the solution and see the given data. So given data we can achieve the Mach number at the inlet is the ideal ramjet engine. Consider the Brighton cycle graph TS graph 
of a brighton cycle the extreme exit of the combustion can be considered that t04 which is a maximum that is t04 is 2400 kelvin gamma that is specific heat ratio is 1.4 gas constant r 287 joule per kg kelvin and we need to find the velocity of the air at the exit based on the graph either we can represent v suffix e or v6 we need to find out so recalling according to the ideal ramjet we know that that mi that is inlet equals to the exit now from the basic mach number formula that is mach number equals to speed of flight by the speed of sound now speed of sound can be written as root over gamma r t now based on that equation we can compile it in this basic ideal ramjet equation that is mi equals to ve by root over gamma r t e mi is known that is 2.8 now from here what we need to find is ve gamma is given r is given t e also we need to find now how we can find t e now we again recalling the isentropic relation that is t04 by t4 equals to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m e square what we know is t04 is in 2400 by t4 equals to 1 plus 1.4 minus 1 by 2 m equals to mi that is 2.8 mach number so substituting over here we can finally find the t4 that is coming around 934.57 kelvin now let's substitute back to the previous equation and after substituting the all the formulae that is mi root over gamma rte equals to ve we need to find ve value so mach number is 2.8 root over 1.4 cross 287 cross 934.57 when we resolve this such equation we get 1 1715.8 meter per second that is the exit velocity of the engine as per the iit delhi given the answer key answer ranges from 1712 to 1719 so which is within the proper limit coming to the next question which of the following options can result in increase in the mach number of an supersonic flow in the duct this question consists of one mark since the options are given this consists of a negative marking so these are the following options increase the length of the duct uh, adding heat to the flow removing heat from the flow inserting a convergent divergent section with the same cross-sectional area at its inlet and the exit plane so based on the Rayleigh's flow and the Fano flow mechanism we can simply say by re we can increase the Mach number of an supersonic flow in the duct by removing the heat from the flow coming to the next question in aircraft engine thermodynamic cycle analysis perfectly expanded flow in the nozzle means that the static pressure in the flow at the nozzle exit is equals to we have four options this question also consists of one mark and uh, there is a negative mark since there are options so option a the stagnation pressure at the engine inlet b the stagnation pressure at the nozzle exit c the ambient pressure at the nozzle exit d the static pressure at the nozzle inlet the right answer is c the ambient pressure at the nozzle exit because in perfectly expanded flow the p b is always equal to p a that is an exit of the nozzle equals to the ambient pressure air enters the rotor of an axial compressor stage with no pre-wheel and exit the rotor with real velocity 150 meter per second the velocity of rotor vane u is 200 meter per second 
assuming cp equals to 1005 joule per kg kelvin the stagnation temperature rise across the rotor is need to find in terms of kelvin round off to one decimal place so this con uh, question consists of two marks and no negative marks because no options are available or given in this question if you're looking for axial compressor lecture which is in description box below so let's see the solution uh, here is a given data given data that is a uh, pre wheel velocity that is uh, in case of 1 is 0 in case of 2 it is 150 meter per second and u is given as 200 meter per second cp is 1005 joule kg per kelvin from here we need to find the stagnation temperature rise across the rotor that is del t so we know that the work done by the compressor is w equals to m dot u c w2 minus c w1 so recalling formula is there for the work done that is m dot cp del t equals to m dot u c w2 minus c w1 so from here let's cancel that m dot m dot will get cancel off so from there we can rearrange and write the equation as del t equals to u c w 2 minus c w 1 by c p here c w 1 is 0 so we will tends to 0 and we can write the equation as del t equals to u c w 2 by c p after substituting the values of u w c w 2 and c p we get that del t equals to 29.851 kelvin round off to one decimal place that 29.9 kelvin so based on the answer key given that answer ranges from 29.8 to 30.0 so which is a within the proper limit an axial compressor is designed to operate at a rotor speed of 15 thousand rpm and an inlet stagnation temperature of 300 kelvin so during compressor testing the inlet stagnation temperature of the compressor measured was 280 kelvin what should be the rotor speed for the compressor to develop the same performance characteristics during this test as in the design condition here this question belongs to two marks so here are the options so first we'll see the given data in the given data what they are given they have given two case study one which was in operating condition and one when they are testing so first case let's consider when they have a rotor speed of uh, 15,000 rpm and the temperature was 300 kelvin and case 2 while testing they don't know what was the uh, rotor speed we need to find and they have given what was the temperature for that particular time that is 280 kelvin now using simple relation that is speed equals to n by root over gamma rt using this simple relation we can find now here we have to find for two cases let's consider the gamma and r is constant let's get cancel of the gamma and r so we can simply write uh, the equation like so from n2 we can write that root over t2 n1 by root over d1 so by substituting the values of we can obtain that n2 is coming around 14 hundred and four hundred ninety one point three seven six rpm and from here we can say the right option is option b the operating conditions of an aircraft engine combustor are as follows the rate of total enthalpy of air entering the combustor is 28.94 megajoule per second the rate of total enthalpy of air leaving the combustor is 1015.42 megajoule per second mass flow rate of air is 32 kg per second air to fuel mass ratio 15.6 low heating value of the fuel is 46 megajoule per kg the efficiency of the combustor is need to find in terms of percentage round off to two decimal 
places this question also carries two mark and no negative marking so first we'll see the brighton cycle in the brighton cycle we can see that uh, in the point 2 to 3 where the combustion takes place the com the air enters in the point 2 and leaves from the point 3 so here we can the given data that is uh, enthalpy at the uh, at the entering of the combustor that is H02 which is 28.94 megajoule per second and when it is leaving the enthalpy is uh, 115.42 megajoule per second mass flow rate of the air m dot air is or m dot a 32 kg per second and air fuel ratio let's consider f is 15.6 and calorific value is 46 megajoule per kg now by recalling the efficiency of the combustor here we need to find the efficiency of the combustor so uh, so let's recall the efficiency of the combustor that is eta equals to m dot a plus m dot f into h not 3 minus m dot a h not 2 by m dot f cv that is a calorific value now as the ratio of the mass flow rate of air and the mass flow rate of fuel is given so let's consider f equals to 15.6 now well, they have also given this m dot of a that is 32 so by substituting the value we can find what is the mass flow rate of the fuel that is 32 by 15.6 we get as 2.05 kg per second now simply by substituting the values on this respective formula that is uh, which is displayed on your screen by substituting and we get the percentage is 31.86 percentage of the combustion chamber hope this solution was very helpful for you all stay tuned and connect with us in all social media for further updates like jobs internship and many more don't hesitate to ask queries either in comment box or drop a mail to wingsofarrow at gmail.com so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel for more updates for the time being goodbye and fly high